Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and this is going to be the last part of our building series and in this episode we are going to learn how to rotate these objects and also we are going to add some furniture to this build mode. So let's get to it. First thing what I'm going to do I'm going to open up my build mode and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this furniture and I'm going to add my meshes. You can find these meshes down in the description box and these are again created by my girlfriend and they are free to use and also I'm going to add a few more icons for my buildables there we go these ones and again in the furniture I'm going to create these textures into materials and I'm going to change the specularity to zero so that my chair and table and shelf wouldn't shine so I'm gonna skip this part if you don't know why and how I'm doing this well actually you already saw what I did but you can rewatch my first video where I explain a little bit more about what and why I do this so now I have my meshes set up I'm gonna go back to the build mode folder and I'm going to add a new blueprint class and I'm going to make this again a static mesh actor I'm gonna call this buildable furniture I'm gonna change the static mesh component static mesh to a yeah, for example I'm gonna make this into a bench but you can do make this into whatever static mesh and I'm gonna make this movable compile and save I'm gonna close this now I'm gonna go to my third person character and in here we need to duplicate one of these functions I'm going to duplicate the build floor I'm gonna call this build furniture and I created a new build channel for my furniture you need to do this as well if you don't remember how to do this go to your project settings under the collision tab here we have our trace channel so you can add a new trace channel and call this how you want but remember that this is for furniture so I have that for the furniture I don't need to check if we hit a collision box so we can delete this part we can connect this directly to here and I'm going to delete these nodes as well and like in the previous video I deleted that part but I'm gonna recreate this for our furniture I'm gonna do a sequence and on the second pin I'm gonna check if we did build overlap so that we wouldn't able so that we wouldn't be able to build within different objects so compile and save that's that I'm gonna go back to the event graph move this down a little add a few pins for our build furniture like that there we go and we actually don't have these IDs set up yet so I'm gonna open up my build system variables buildables database and I'm gonna add more elements for my meshes so bench 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 many 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 benches table 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 and a shelf there we go compile and save now I'm gonna go to my left mouse button event I'm gonna drag this down a little and what I'm gonna do I'm actually just going to copy all of these copy all of these add some more pins to my switch so I have chair table and shelf I'm gonna change the buildable to buildable furniture here we go and connect this to stop build mode compile and save 
and this gave me an error so I'm gonna connect this over here because I forgot to connect the transform pin so I think I think that should be it I'm gonna move this closer a bit like that let's test it out so press play bench we have a bench table we have a table shelf we have a shelf great so what I'm gonna do now since this is already finished and this is a very very short video I am going to implement one more functionality and which is going to be a rotation functionality so that we could rotate these buildables so how to do that first thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to my build mode folder open up my s buildable structure uh, this thing will come in handy later on but for you guys I assume you will have more furnitures which are going to have different world scales so I'm going to add a new variable here which I'm gonna call build scale so you can adjust these values depending on the sizes if let's say your chairs are like 10 times bigger or 10 times smaller than your walls and you want to change the scales you will be able to do this by changing this variable by default I'm gonna set these all to 1 so that I don't have to change these for every single one of my buildables if I open this now they don't show up because I need to compile first and now I have my values 1 1 1 so you can play with these to change the buildable sizes but how to actually make this function so to make this function we need to add two more variables to our third person character first one is going to be a build rotation to adjust the rotation and this is going to be build scale to adjust the scale and the rotation type will be rotator and the scale type will be a vector I'm gonna add these to my build system category like this and here where we set our world transform we need to connect these build rotators and build scales like that same goes for the other one like this compile and save and I'm gonna do this for all of my functions So now I'm going to go back to my event graph, to my build mode. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. I'm going to move this back a little. Oh, way too much. Way too much. Oh, I can adjust this as well. So, and I'm going to add a build rotator over here. I'm going to set this to zero. So that every time that we launch our build mode, so that the values would reset to the default values. Compile and save now what I need to do is I need to pick keys for the rotation I'm gonna use my mouse wheel you can use any button you like so under this mouse left I'm going to do a mouse wheel down and mouse wheel up events and I'm going to do a if branch and I'm going to check is build mode on and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one like this and if this is on I'm going to set my rotation and I'm going to set this by making a vector Should I need to move this up a little and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my rotation I'm going to break my rotator like this and I'm going to connect X and Y 
and I'm gonna do a plus float and I'm going to connect this over here and I'm going to add eh, 15 degrees and I'm gonna copy these nodes and I'm gonna copy these nodes over here and I'm going to do a minus 15 well, actually I, I do like this minus float I'm gonna do a 15 compile and save now I think I'm thinking that that should do it okay let's go to the game let's test it out let's play pick a chair table wall floor nothing works what again I forgot to connect so I know what I missed um, I need to go to my UI UI buildable and here in the graph I need to set my build scale so here I'm going to do a set build scale set build scale like this there we go actually I will connect I will make a reroute pin here and connect this like that there we go and this scale we need to get from our build info so I'm going to copy this paste it over here connect this like that actually I will move this down compile and save so now if we press play select our bench and if we rotate with the mouse well at least I set this to mouse I can rotate my mesh and build it the way I set it so there we go but I don't like the scale of my table so what I can do I already made it possible for us I'm going to open up my buildable database I'm gonna select my buildable table and I'm gonna make this build scale 2 so compile and save press play build a bench build a table and I have my table well, it's way too big and I need to adjust this, I think, to 1.5. But you get the point. You can adjust this the way you want it to be. And this is going to be it for this tutorial. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to start to create an inventory system so that eventually we would be able to make uh, these buildables actually cost resources. So if you have more suggestions, more ideas uh, that you want me to add to this building system or make some tutorials in general, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'm going to get to it eventually. Oh, I messed up with my build. Whee! I messed up my house. My house. My house. I messed up my house. So from the inside I'm gonna have a double wall. Oh well, it is what it is.